The YMCA has been used to evangelize young people for many generations. One of the young men that was converted to Christ through the ministry of the YMCA was Clarence Larkin. Clarence Larkin trusted Christ at the age of 19. Upon his conversion, he immediately joined the Episcopal Church. And in his adult life, he worked as a bank clerk and received a degree in mechanical engineering in 1873. He was very skilled at drawing out maps and architecture designs and plans. God had prepared this man for the greatest work he would ever do with his life. But something happened at the age of 32 in the life of Clarence Larkin. He started to read the Bible for himself, and he realized that Episcopalianism was not exactly right with the Word of God. And he, by conviction, became a Baptist preacher. He pastored in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania from 1889 to 1898, and in Fox Chase, Pennsylvania from 1898 to 1919. During this time, he was studying prophecy and started drawing charts using his engineering skills. And they were so profound and so insightful that there was an incredible demand for him to continue this work. And in 1918, he published his flagship book, Dispensational Truth. And this book became so popular that it caused him to devote himself to writing for the rest of his life, which he actually ended up resigning his church from. And in 1919, he wrote a book on Revelation, and in 1929, he wrote a book on Daniel. His amazing work on charts has enabled generations of people to understand the dispensational truth and understand prophecy in a real and more fuller way. Let's be honest, prophecy is complicated. And Daniel and Matthew 24 and Revelation 13, all, what do you do with all this stuff? Well, Mr. Larkin has given us a great tool to help understand it. We thank God for the life and ministry of Clarence Larkin and what he has done and the amazing insights that God gave him in this matter of prophecy. And we appreciate him and his Baptist convictions. I would say that Clarence Larkin is one of the most influential Baptist preachers of all time. He was greatly used of God. And we pray that God would have his hand on us as we go forward trying to study the Word of God and using his tools, which are available easily and abundantly online. We pray that God would have his hand upon us and give us such great understanding of the scriptures as God gave Mr. Clarence Larkin.